Hey Centennial Middle School Timberwolves. This is Mr. Boat, and this is episode 24 of Hey Students. It's been a while since I've done one of these. It's just, they just take so much work. So anyway, I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys because I care that much. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about what I did over the summer. That's basically it. A couple other things. But um, yeah, it's been a good one. Um, I am uh, sad it's over, but I'm also excited for the new year to start. Um, I don't know if you guys are. Some of you probably aren't, but I like school, which is why I became a teacher. I love teaching and I love what I do. So when I go too long without doing it, I kind of miss it and wish it. I was back. So we're going to be back next week. So here we go. Let's do this. So this summer, I decided to not be a lazy bum and sit around playing Zelda all summer. Although I, I have been doing that too, but I decided to get a job. And what better place to work than the lovely school, Centennial Middle School in Provo, Utah. I joined the custodial crew as a sweeper, which means I just do whatever they tell me to do. <laughs> so we've been cleaning all the classrooms, scrubbing them, and what else have we been doing? Cleaning carpets, doing a bunch of mopping and cleaning the floors, and now we are waxing. So do you see how it's shiny this, this hallway is on the floor? So what we have to do is we have to use these machines to, <clears throat> to get all the old wax off, and we clean it up all nice and clean, and then we add this wax stuff to it. So this is the wax, go ahead. It kind of looks like, whoa! It kind of looks like milk or horchata. And we just kind of, or we just, and we just kind of put it on there with this little broom. In the hallways we put four layers of this on there. So it makes it all shiny and beautiful. So I'm putting this in the video so you little punks don't mess it up by dragging chairs and stuff in the hallway. Be cool, go to school, but don't mess it up. Shiny, shiny. So this is Anthony. Hi. Anthony, <laughs> Tyler, and Larry. The, and back there, that's Daniel. <laughs> These are the, what are you guys? The head custodians. The head custodians, custodians of the buildings. Yeah, so they clean up after your dumb messes. So don't purposely make a mess. <laughs> These guys are cool, so be nice and don't do drugs. So uh, another thing I've been doing this summer, is uh, I've been tasked to clean the carpets, which I actually love. So I use this machine right here. Um, and it's pretty fun, you just pull it and it cleans the carpet. You have to put water in it and then dump it out. I like it because I've just been plugging in my, my trusty AirPods and I've just been listening to books and podcasts. I've almost listened to all of the Narnia books this summer. Not quite done with them, but almost all the carpet in the entire school. I have cleaned. So if you're like, ew, this is gross. It's still dirty. I guess that's my fault. So I have this chemical stuff that I put in here and you have to kind of get the pressure going. And then you push this uh, handle and we spray the carpet with this chemical. And the way this machine works, there's like, it shoots water down here and there's a brush and it sucks it back up. So what you have to do is you first have to put clean water in here, and then as it's going, it puts the dirty water in here. You can see there's some in there already. And you have to dump this periodically. Yeah, what you do is you turn on the brush, turn on the vacuum, and the water. And then you just pull it backwards slowly. <laughs> 
this is what I do for hours on end. So then when I'm done, or when it, this thing gets filled up, you can tell right here, because it's full of water. It actually isn't right now, but I'm gonna empty it anyway. Or when you run out of water, you bring it here to one of these sinks. You open this up, and then this is where it's so satisfying. Yucky, nasty water. This is what came off of your shoes and went into the carpet. This might be a bad time to do a video, but because it's kind of windy and loud. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to show you my garden. I do a garden every year. I'm not that great at it, I'm still learning. This is our garden this year. Right here I've got some cilantro. Let the cilantro bolt, that means it's starting to seed. It's no longer good, it's hot. We got some uh, basil. These are jalapeno peppers. Look at those yummy red ones. Uh, some bell peppers. Look at all these yummy tomatoes. Those look awesome. And these onions. <laughs> so good, so yummy. Then this is a serrano pepper. Basil. And then look at this. Those are habaneros. I'm gonna let them turn orange. And then uh, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try eating one. Maybe I'll do a video of me trying a habanero pepper for the first time. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I love it. I love the rain so much. I grew up in Seattle, the Seattle area in Washington State, and it rains there a ton, and uh, I miss it. I love it here in Utah, but sometimes I miss the rain. So whenever it rains here, I just wanna cuddle up and just love it. Especially right now, it's like, it's been really hot, and now it's nice and cool because of the wind and rain. Oh, love it. Rain, rain, please never go away. We didn't have a ton happen over the summer in our backyard, but a couple things. We uh, we cut down this tree. Almost fell the wrong way onto the house, which would have been really bad. But yeah, we got it to fall the right direction. And then I uh, used a chainsaw and cut it all up. Some of the tree, I made into these fun stumps, fire pit in the backyard. I took a bunch of the branches and twigs and made a huge bonfire out of it. It was pretty awesome. Another thing that happened was our shed. There was a bunch of wind and our metal shed just blew over and collapsed. The shed was right there and now it's right here. All right, that's it. That's episode 24 of Hey Student. I'm doing a fire in the backyard with my son. And we're just hanging out telling scary stories. And now we uh, might have nightmares tonight. But anyway, we hope you have a good week. I'm excited to see you when school starts. It's gonna be good. This is gonna be a good year. We're gonna make it awesome. So we'll see ya at school and We'll catch you on the flippity flip. <laughs>